Hey, I'm gonna be breaking down the different play styles within the guard, the wings, and the bigs, but let's start off with the guards. So out of the four play styles, me personally, I like to shoot the long range shot. Maybe you're one of those players that like to slash and get to the rim, or you maybe like to clamp people up. It's really up to you, but I know it's people out there that love to pass and dribble the right way and get to the rack with that balance. When it comes to being a wing player, me personally, I love creating my own offense. You could be a shooter as well, but I love scoring, man. But also, people like clamping up like Kawhi Leonard. And hey, don't forget, you can dunk over people like Greek Freak and LeBron. When creating a big, I love creating a rim protector, but you can shoot all day if you want to. But hey, I know it's a lot of people out there that want to work in the post. It's all up to you guys, what you creating? All right, guys, now that you've created a player and picked your play style, it's time to talk about your primary and secondary skills. Now, remember, primary and secondary skills will be different, just like play styles are different. So whatever play style you do choose, remember, your primary and secondary skills will be different from others. Also, guys, don't forget, man, in order to earn skill points, you have to level up your XP. You will not be able to buy skill points or nothing like that. You have to grind. Also, guys, don't forget, man, skill points are shown in the yellow hexagon when you do earn a skill skill point make sure you guys come over to skill progression and up your primary and secondary skills also guys the last thing about upgrading your primary and secondary skills is that you get boosts you get moves and you get them fly fresh sneaks from nba live 18 all right you guys now that you've already created your player and picked your play style it's time to see what type of traits you need to make your signature abilities even more fire the best thing about traits is man they can be earned in game as well as you can get up to three slots unlocked as you level up in the game also a big thing guys there is a tier system so you can unlock bronze silver and gold as you complete the objectives in the game one major 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 thing is you can also track your traits so once you're building your loadout to you're trying to figure out how you want to become the best player for the league or the streets you can obviously do whatever you want here and track every step of the way me personally i think this is one of the best features of nba live 18 stop watching this video and go unlock them traits